This is a question that the SAT considers hard. No, it is not because we have the ability to put this into Desmos. That is 100% the way you should do this. I will show you the old fashioned way that the SAT still, I think, thinks is the way to do it. Um, and just in case for some reason we can't do Desmos, but oh boy, this is definitely a Desmos question, right? Because normally we can read the center of the circle from the circle equation when it's in a, in a certain format, right? But it's not in that format now. We can tell that, but we can also just add this into Desmos in whatever format and it'll work. So x squared uh, plus 20x uh, plus y squared plus 16y uh, equals negative 20. And there we go. We get a nice little circle. I'm going to scroll around. I'm going to zoom out so I can see it. And just look at the answer choices. So first of all, it's definitely not one of the positive ones, 10, 8, or 20, 16, right? It's not even in that quadrant. Uh, and then negative 20, negative 16 is like kind of outside of the circle, maybe just like on the edge of it. So it's really this negative 10 and I guess negative 8, like there's no way for me to kind of see the center of the circle. I guess I can actually do this uh, now that I think about it. Uh, negative 10, uh, negative 8. And yeah, there you go. It's much clearer now that that's the right answer. But but that that you could do. You could always type in a point. So there you go. That's the center. Uh, nothing more to it than that. You know, we could, you know, negative 20, negative 16 is all the way out there. But um, this is an easy question. Like literally there's nothing to do except look at a picture. But I get why they think this is hard. Normally, if we didn't have a calculator, the only way to get this equation into the normal uh, circle formula is to complete the square, which is a very tedious and annoying process. I will show you. I, I really can't imagine a situation in which this is going to be important for the current SAT because Desmos is so powerful. But uh, just to show you what we're supposed to do. Essentially, what we need is we need to get back to a place where we have x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. That's the generic formula of a circle. You should memorize that. We will see questions in this series where sometimes it's just knowing that formula and that's all you need to do to answer it. But you can see we're not in that formula. So we have to get there. And the way we do it is we are going to turn each of these kind of x, y components into a squared term. So the process for doing that is to focus on the B term, which in, in both cases is the part on the single X, the single Y. We're going to take half of that and square it and then add it in. So we're going to have X squared plus 20 X plus half of 20 is 10 and 10 squared is 100. So plus 100. Then we'll do it for the Y. So Y squared plus 16 Y. Half of 16 is 8. 8 squared is 64. So that gets in. Now, we have to make sure we balance things out. You're not allowed to just go adding um, other numbers to one side of an equation. You have to balance things out. So we added 100 on the left and 64 on the left. So we have to add 164 on the right as well, right? At both of them together. Then it's just a matter of simplifying. Basically, you're, you're factoring, but because it's called completing the square, we know we're going to get the same factor twice squared. So uh, you can think what multiplies to 100 and adds to 20, but it's easy. It's the same thing twice. It's x plus 10. Then here it's y plus 8, right? What multiplies to 64 adds to 16. The whole reason we did this is it's, it's the half of b term. So that's that, and that is equal to 144. So what this tells us is that the center then is these two numbers reverse the sign, right? So notice that in the um, equation itself, it's a minus h and a minus k, which means that this negative sign is built into the equation, so we would have to reverse it to pull out the center. So negative 10, negative 8 is the center, and we can see that that's exactly what we got. And then the radius, remember, is squared. So we don't see the square because the radius will be a number, but uh, it's actually a squared number. So 144 isn't the radius. 12 is. So just from that, we would know everything we would need to know about this circle, and that would be the algebraic way to go about it. But uh, yeah, I mean, Desmos is way easier. The only other thing I'll add is if we, for some reason, again, couldn't use Desmos, uh, we would also want to see that this is weird, right? That this version is not the same as this version. Even if you didn't remember how to complete the square, I would hope that you would recognize that choices like A and D are too easy. Right. I mean, we can see the 20, we can see the 16 in the equation. We kind of hopefully remember that there is some sort of adjustment we need to make to the equation to get it to look like the equation we want, this x minus h squared one. 
And so we'd realize that the 20 and the 16 are going to change. So it's way too easy to just look at it and say that those are the, the coordinates of the center. There's much more to it than that. So hopefully you would get rid of A and D and then maybe guess between B and C and at least have a better shot. But again, this is all stuff that's just a legacy of the old versions of the SAT. Desmos is 100% the way to do this. You will get this right in a few seconds. But in case you need the long way, there it is.